continue. As you may know, the world's major powers led by the US and Iran, after months of negotiations in Australia and Switzerland, announced they have an historical agreement. I think this is a very important deal and we need to talk about it. But what this deal actually means? How it actually works? Well, let's go through one by one and look at the, some of the most important issues associated with this deal. Like uranium, plutonium, st stockpile, enrichment, enrichment, centrifuges, inspections, and sanctions relief. Let's start with uranium stockpile. You dig uranium out of the ground and use it for nuclear f fuel for, for a power plant or even for a weapon. The deal requires Iran to get rid of 97% of its enriched uranium. To put it in other, in other words, Iran has to in, decrease its stockpile drastically to just 300 kilograms from the current level of 10,000 kilograms, which is enough for, make, for, for making 10 nuclear weapons. Stockpile limitations will last for 15 years. Because of deal, Iran will modify the heavy reactor of it, and that the capabilities of this reactor is for producing a significant amount of plutonium, weapon grade, and it's very dangerous for the peace for that region. Actually, this reactor will be converted to their uh, research lab for peaceful purposes. How about enrichment level? Ur uranium comes in different levels of enrichments. Iran has only allowed to enrich the uranium for 3.7% for the next 15 years. And to give you a sense of what does that really mean, I, I want to give you an example. For medical researchers, we use 20% enriched uranium. And for weapon grade uranium, we should have 90% enriched uranium. So 3.7% seven, seven, so is very safe and energy graded. Not something that is anywhere near that can be used for nuclear weapons. The next question is what, what they want to do about their centrifuges. Iran will remove two thirds of their centrifuges out of the country. And it's going from 20,000 centrifuges to just 5,000 centrifuges. And the, another 1,000 centrifuges for uh, lab researches and development. And these centrifuges are just the first generation of centrifuges and very old one. And they don't allow, they don't uh, allow to use the next generation and the advanced generation of the centrifuges. All of these will push back Iran break time, break out time to one year from the current amount from uh, two to three months. And the break out time is the time to gather the material for uh, making the first uh, nucle nuclear weapon. As President Obama said, Iran deal not built on trust, but verification. The IAEA nuclear watchdog will have continuous monitoring and 24-7 access to Iran's facility, nuclear facilities. The inspections will use the most modern and up-to-date surveillance technologies available. Also, they have access to Iran's nuclear supply chain. All of uranium mines and mines for over 25 years. Because of this deal, inspectors have access to any suspicious sites. The IAEA will have access to where necessary and when necessary. And this arrangement is permanent. As President Obama said in, this, in his speech, Every pathway 
to the nuclear weapon will cut off with this deal. So what does Iran get from accepting all of these limitations? What Iran gets is really from the economic sanctions that have been just crippling its economy for the over past decade. What does sanctions do is they cut off Iran's economy from the from, from the outside world. They cut, up, they cut it off from the international banking, international finance system, and these have been just devastating its economy. This is a big deal, not just for Iran's government, but for the 80 million people of Iran who have the big middle class and they have been suffering from these sanctions for too long. And they finally have a chance to build their economy and join to the world's economy and contribute to, with it. All in all, the rich agreement is the best way to ensure Iran doesn't build a nuclear weapon and also gives the international community 24-7 access to verify it. I believe that a strong deal based on the international uh, diplomacy is the best way forward. And the alternative to this is war. War with Iran and another war in the Middle East is really a bad idea. We love our children, and Iranian loves their children. Also, diplomacy with Iran has the potential to do much more than prevent a war in the Middle East. We have a deal on the table that keeps all of us safe. If you believe that's a good deal, spread the word and support diplomacy and peace, because we need it now.